Hi everyone out there in YouTube land, Daniel Hutchinson here. Yeah, I know, a face not even a mother could love. But that's okay, I get that a lot. Anyways, moving right along. And here's my story that I want to share with all of you out there. On a day off from work, I decided to visit the Damariscotta Bog Preserve in the town of Damariscotta, naturally of course, located in the state of Maine. I go to this place to collect samples of microscopic organisms to video record and post on one of my other YouTube channels that next to nobody ever watches. But no complaining or whining here. No boo-hoo, poor me. I absolutely love making my own little vids for those very few that are interested in watching. For me, it's the work I love putting into making them, which really turns out to not be work for me at all. So anyways, Walking on the hiking trail to the bog to collect some micro samples and being aware of the ticks here that carry Lyme disease, I immediately started to hear a strange sound half between a guttural and high-pitched whimpering sound that I can best describe. Visually scanning outwards from where I was standing, I finally found what was making all the strange noises. It was three baby raccoons. Looking around for the mother from where I had found them, I didn't see anything. But my mind was fixated on seeing something like this that could happen at any point. I immediately called the game warden to find out if the babies could be placed in an animal rehabilitation facility. I was told to leave them be, and the mother possibly left them to go for foraging for herself within the forest. Being so close to the parking area of the preserve, like only two feet close, I took pictures of the cute little fellas, put on a pair of my scuba diving mittens, and picked them up and placed them on the other side of a felled pine tree, which was 30 feet further away from the parking area, so they wouldn't end up getting squashed by a car tire. They huddled back together for warmth, and I said a private little prayer for the three of them not to get eaten by anything, and went on my merry way towards the bog to collect my water sample. After having run into three baby raccoons in the forest, I decided to put a small section into this video about the prehistory and the fossils of raccoons. Based on the fossil evidence from eastern part of Europe and into Russia, the first known members of the family Procyonidae, which raccoons are in, lived in the late Oligocene about 25 million years ago. Similar tooth and skull structures suggest raccoons and weasels share a common ancestor but molecular analysis seems to indicate a closer relationship between raccoons and bears. After the then existing species crossed the Bering Strait at least six million years later in the early Miocene, the center of its distribution ended up being in Central America. Unlike the crab-eating raccoon, the ancestors of the common raccoon left this tropical and or subtropical areas and migrated farther north about 2.5 million years ago, a migration that has been confirmed by the discovery of fossils in the Great Plains dating back to the middle of the Pliocene. Its most recent ancestor was Procyon rexorodensis, a large raccoon from the Rex Road Formation characterized by its narrow back teeth and large lower jaw, 